okay so now we'll will will go more deeper into the pentaho suite we'll will look into more detail each of the components each of the tool uh, different tools of pentaho so here we can see this is the uh, you know the component uh, architecture uh, view here so uh, we'll see from top to bottom okay presentation layer you can uh, we can say it can be viewed in any of the presentation layer like browser sorry browser or portal web services through you can actually access that uh, uh, data in pentaho and then there comes the layer of the uh, you can say the presentation layer kind of uh, how it is available in the presentation layer the data so it's through reporting it's through analysis it's through dashboard it's through process management and uh, business intelligence platform yes it talks about the uh, you know the security and the repository repository where you can actually store your data and everything and uh, you know your uh, jobs and everything you have your design and administrative tasks like you define the user role mapping and everything you actually have it in this and then the data and application integration so it is it is very important as i said it's it's the integration layer of etl which is so now in the end you could see there is third party applications erp crm legacy data olap other applications local data so yes it is shown if you could imagine uh, the source database could be anything and on top of that you are actually having your pentaho bi suite so if you you can actually think like that so once you have it so you uh, you can actually extract data from these third party applications and uh, through using your uh, pentaho etl data integration tool and make it available in the presentation layer through reporting and dashboard i hope uh, i am making sense okay so here we'll see uh, each layer in detail and uh, we'll talk about each of them in the following slides architecture view is here is saying the data layer server layer and the client layer we'll we'll see how uh, what all they are in the individual layers okay so this is the data layer so it's through pentaho data integration tool you basically do it so you can actually connect it to virtually any kind of data sources as you can see in the website flat files the do no sql rgbms any any high performance analytic database so you can actually have it connected to any of the data sources available which is very useful and which is very good i hope okay now the server layer this is the middle layer of the uh, you know pentaho uh, bi architecture so it is it is like these applications run on server and servers as middle servers as middle layer there are pa server pentaho user console pentaho data integration server so it's like the pa server where you can actually where you actually deploy your reports and dashboards you design and available it to the end user and user console is again for the uh, as i said for the user role mapping and security and uh, uh, what data or which report to be shown to the which user in the organization and what else is there in pentaho user console you can actually uh, schedule your uh, jobs you can actually schedule your reports to run it at the, on on some specific time and pentaho data integration server it is nothing but uh, running your etl jobs and transformations uh, this uh, this is the this is for that pentaho data integration server this runs your etls in uh, runs your jobs in transformations okay this is the third layer of course this is very important layer because this with this uh, the business user or the most of the users interact so there are two different you know clients are there thin and thick client we'll see that in detail thin client runs on server so its community dashboard editor pentaho analyzer uh, your ad hoc reporting and things like that so it's it's basically to the end user so you have reports dashboards and available to the end user to view 
and thick lines are uh, mentioned here as schema workbench, aggregation designer, metadata editor, report designer. I don't know why data integration studio is, uh, data studio is shown here. But yes, uh, it's part of it. So schema workbench, we'll see that in the following slide. It's nothing but uh, for your cube designing. We'll see that in detail. Aggregation designer, we'll see that in detail. It's basically having your aggregation or the aggregated data to be available for the reporting purposes. We'll aggregate, aggregation or aggregated data is basically consolidated kind of uh, you have your for example you uh, you have your um, uh, sales in one month's data you have like every day you are selling uh, each of the product and aggregation is doing like in one month the sum of that uh, you know say you actually store it so that it's uh, you know uh, available readily for the reporting you don't have to uh, do some and everything of for the monthly sale in the report. So it's readily the the measure is available readily for the reporting purpose. So metadata editor is for your uh, uh, you know metadata designing. Uh, like as I said, it's a it's a you know a mapping between your physical uh, database and the business logic and the report designer. Of course, that's uh, for, that's for your designing the reports.